everyone, Religious Fanboy here again, and today we are discussing episode 9 of Token Ranbu titled, uh, episode 9 of season 1 titled, That is the Kind of Past That I Have, and we are talking about and the lesson and theme of the importance of sharing each other's burdens and hoping, helping and encouraging each other to overcome our issues. And we see that we see those Christian lessons and themes paralleled in both stories and plots in this episode, we see this with Shishio in feeling like the one thing that he was good at, which he understood and interpreted as because he wasn't big. Like he was in a long sword. Um, that he was meant to be light, so anyone could effectively wield it, and that was interpreted to by a um wolf god sword spirit. Um, I can't quite remember his name right now. But, um... He said that your strength might be able to do well at taking care of the elderly, and because of Mitsuki being one of the oldest, being the oldest there, being the oldest sword created there, um, we see him with help from sword warriors to make him look big and impressive and to appear as what they call a super sword warrior to amuse and surprise Mitsuki. And that is one of the stories in this episode, but the other story focuses on Because of the mission they are assigned, is involving Natsurugi, um, master, and his master's family, and this leads to a lot of doubt. Natsurugi and along to protect his master um, and save him because we find out that Natsurugi was type of sword that his master had that was referred to as his protection sword. And it was because he could not protect his family his enemies that he um that Natsurugi's master had committed seppuku which is a way in Japanese ancient Japanese culture where soldiers and warriors as an act of shame and guilt would impale themselves with their swords. And 
because Natsugi fit in his eyes failing as a protection sword, he feel he views himself as weak and so when he needs to go back to that time he desires to save his master and be strong enough to save him like young And we also see how there are other examples of how in this episode how people of similar struggles help and encourage each other. Specifically in Yanyusada and Natsurugi's interactions. In this episode, as well as seeing how other sword warriors are able to comfort and hold not Tsurugi accountable, yeah, you saw that accountable. I, um, we see this with some of the other war sword warriors that go on the mission with. The two of them, but um, we also see this with Iwatoshi, who is the most recent sword warrior either to be summoned in general or at least to be introduced. Um, and they have, like, I think Iwatoshi and Natsurugi had the same narrative. Um, so, um, much like Ichi and Dagen and, like, Kashi and Yayasada, they have, they have, like, sibling-like relationship with each other because of either the person who made them and or their masters. Um, I also bay and Yagen and I think I think Sozin um has a special connection because of their shared experience of having Nobunaga as their master and we see them deal with that trauma in um earlier on back in episode two and well i look forward to covering season two because there's a fun really fun episode that goes back to that um i like a lot but um Besides that, um, I highly recommend this episode. Um, I really enjoy the. I I highly recommend this whole show to you guys. Um, there are some blood and parts, but besides that, highly recommend. Um, so with that being said. Um,
But it will be in Galatians. In Verses one and two. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him the spirit of gentleness. Keep watch. On yourself, lest you be tempted, bear one another's burdens, and so and so fulfill the love of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But each one should his own work, and then his reading. Be in himself alone and not in our neighbor, for each will have to bear his own mud. Um, we see the themes in this passage paralleled Natsurugi, or we see Yagi Usada that struggles with the same thing with his master or a similar situation with his own master but due to it being a separate situation from their current circumstances being able to encourage and sympathize with Natsurugi 
And we also see the firmer hands of people like Itoshi and the other sword warriors on the mission that give him accountability and are a reminder of what they are meant to do. And we see how God calls us to do the same thing in verses 2 and 1 and 2 in Galatians chapter 6. And we also see throughout the original what we learn and see parallels throughout their offices what appeared to be being asked to do in the role of the church of Gal the people in the church of Galatia are asked to do in verses three and four where even though we need the accountability and sympathy of our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who walk alongside us. We, in having free will, have to find the strength in our own relationship with God to do what we are called to do. Because we are responsible for our actions and are accountable for our relationships with God. And with that being said, may. I hope and pray that you guys took away from the episode in the scripture and this video whatever God intends for you to take away from it. And with that being said, have a good week. May God be with you, and I will see you next time. Bye.